Hello everyone, thank you very much for watching N Talks, where it talks about nursing, academics, study skills, health and social care. For this video, I'll be talking about the different career options in nursing. For the disclaimer, the views and opinions in this video are personal and they do not represent those of people, institutions, or organizations. The different career options that I will be laying out in this video are career options that may be present in one's country, but at the same time, they may not be present at all in another country. In nursing, or nursing professionals have been very, very valuable these days. In fact, they have been valuable since the since you know nursing began and right now in the world of pandemic we can really see that they have been very well involved in the front line especially in the clinical settings where they provide direct care to patients so the first career option that I'll be mentioning is clinical nursing and we can see this uh, very clearly at this time uh, during the pandemic a lot of the nurses are involved in clinical nursing and not just during the pandemic times but even before that and it's just really to let you know that in clinical nursing there are different areas so you have areas like ward-based nursing you also have areas like special areas nursing and procedural nursing now in ward-based nursing ward-based can be general but at the same time specific because you do have wards that are also specialized in itself like neurology wards or cardiology wards so a nurse may be in a ward setting providing basic care to patients in a number of patients but at the same time they may be also specialized because of the area or the setup that has been organized for that ward area you also have the special areas nursing and I've included things here like ICU, CCU, which stands for coronary care unit, ICU stands for intensive care unit, um, you also have the HDU or high dependency unit, and high dependency unit is like a step down to ICU. Some countries may not use this term at all, they may have a different terminology such as step down units, or they may not have any step down units. But these are definitely areas that nurses can be involved with. Uh, a lot of nurses are very interested in critical care and they usually uh, end up working in ICU settings. In addition to the special areas nursing, there is also dialysis, uh, endoscopy and cath lab or cardiac cath lab. Now endoscopy and cath lab, this are considered as special areas but at the same time they're also under procedural nursing and that is because the nurses that work in endoscopy and cardiac catheter labs, they deal with patients who are undergoing a specific procedure like an endoscopy procedure such as colonoscopies or flexible sigmoidoscopies. In cath lab, patients will undergo procedures like angiograms or angioplasties and nurses will be involved in taking care of these patients. It's either on the preparation side until the procedure table itself where nurses will assist the clinician or the surgeon or um, whoever performs because sometimes uh, in endoscopies for example um, you have gastroenterologists that perform these procedures but in some countries some nurses are trained to perform endoscopy procedures such as endoscopy uh, nurse specialists they may have a different terminology for it but they can perform endoscopy procedures depending on the country and depending if such a role exists as well in that particular, particular geographic location. Procedural nursing is unique because the care that is provided is really is for a short period of time, meaning that patients come in and then they hand over the patient after the procedure to either a ward setting or a special area and they take another patient. So it's different from the ward setting because in the ward setting, uh, patients are dealt with by nurses for the whole shift and they may see the patient again the next day. In procedural nursing, that is not the case. However, in procedural nursing, it depends on the setup. Sometimes there could be some recovery rooms embedded in it 
wherein procedural nurses might have to be involved with. But this depends on the setup. This depends on the setup of the employer, depends on the setup of the organization. If the setup of the employer is for procedural nurses to get involved with assisting in procedures but at the same time recovering the patient in the recovery area, then they will have two roles basically. If the setup is just to focus on the procedures itself and there will be another set of nurses that will be assigned for the recovery setting, like recovery nurses, then they're just focused on the procedures itself. Now, in addition to the list of the other possible career options, um, I've included here management. Uh, management, as much as management applies to almost any field, not just really nursing, uh, nurses can involve in the management pathway if they're very interested to that. So maybe coming from a clinical environment, they want to proceed to management because it's always useful to come from a clinical environment. Um, Management can be tricky because it involves a lot of decision making. So if the nurse manager lacks the experience of how things are done in the clinical setting, it will be a very, very difficult position to really be effective with. Now I have here a few examples of different uh, nurses who works in the management area. So you do have nurse supervisors, nurse managers, matrons, nursing directors, and chief nurses. Again, some of these terminologies may not apply in the country that you live in. Uh, matrons is very specific though. In the UK, they use this term for nurses who are higher than nurse managers, but still deal with management stuff. The difference with the nurse manager and matron is that matron is more concerned on the quality side of things. So they deal with the quality of the service, the audits, but there could be an overlap between the two the functions of a nurse manager and the function of a matron. But the key thing is that everyone works as a team, so if there is a problem in the ground level, meaning in the bedside itself, but, uh, within a nurse and taking care of their patients, if there are problems within that level, in most cases, both will be involved. But in terms of the chain of command, the matron is higher than that of the nurse manager. Now, nursing directors and chief nurses, they are usually on the administrative side and they deal with either the operations of the service of the whole organization um, in relation to yeah, nursing or it could be other health professionals as well. But these positions are quite broad and I think it's very important to just go over the job description because the job description of one organization may be slightly different from another organization. But these are just a few examples of nurses who work within the management field, but they usually come from clinical nursing first before they proceed to management because it's really beneficial if that's the, the sequence of how they progress in the ladder. It's very important to have uh, you know, a clinical, a good clinical background in order to also provide very good and effective clinical decisions and also the decision making will be much easier if you do have the experience already. Research nursing is another field and option that I have included here. This is something that I have been involved with. Now research nurses are mostly involved in the operational side of, uh, of research studies or clinical trials. So that means that they will be involved in the paperwork side of clinical trials, which is the collection of data, or it could be the assisting of research sponsors in running the research study in a site. But research nurses are also specific because aside from being capable of working in the operational side of research, they will also be involved in the administration of medications. And these medications are medications that are being studied. Thus, it's called a clinical trial. And they will be involved in the monitoring of patients. And they will be involved in basically providing care to the patient while they are in a research study. Um, Clinical trials specialist is another term that may be called 
for nurses who work in research nursing but clinical trial specialist does not necessarily need a nurse to be one uh, but in some instances some companies prefer nurses to be their clinical trial specialist because nurses are capable or very very capable of effectively monitoring patients who are in drug trials but at the same time there are certain procedures or certain routes of uh, drug administration where nurses are the only not only nurses but nurses are one because doctors can do this as well but yeah so nurses are the only one who are capable of administering such as intravenous medications so if the medication being studied in a trial is an intravenous one scientists who are not qualified who are not a doctor who are not a nurse uh, they may not be able to admit it or they will not be able to administer this drug at all because there are laws that actually revolve around this so nurses will be much preferred in these kinds of trials now there's a big difference between a research nurse and a nurse researcher because sometimes people may mistakenly think these uh, these nurses are the same they're actually different because when you say nurse researcher this is more involved in the formulating of a research problem and really initiating a research project, trying to answer the research project. Uh, they're more involved in the research design, the methodology. Whereas research nurses, they're mostly focused on the operational side and of course, the taking care of that patient who is undergoing a clinical trial. So there's definitely a big difference between the two. But some functions of both may overlap. But then again, this depends on the job description that has been laid out uh, because research nursing or a research nurse from one organization uh, the functions of that research nurse may be different from another organization and it always depends on the job description that has been formulated by the employer now I've added here in the list uh, the area of nursing education because some nurses do involve in teaching and this can be teaching in the hospital setting or teaching in the university setting. So I have here a few examples. You have the nurse educator, either this could be a nurse educator in a hospital or this could be a nurse educator in a university setting or school setting. You also have practice development nurses. Again, just another terminology that they use, which is similar to nurse educator or clinical educator. But by the name itself, you can really see clearly that it's mostly involved in practice development or developing practice in the workplace, more focusing on uh, initiating best practices and really uh, embedding that in the practice among the staff. But these are also functions of a nurse educator and a clinical educator, so there will be some overlapping and sometimes it just really depends on the job description. Um, if a nurse wants to get involved in these positions, they just have to read their job descriptions very, very carefully because at the end of the day, it really depends on uh, what we are asked to do based on the contract that we signed in. And also I have, I have added nurse lectures and nursing academic. So these are uh, nurses who are still involved in nursing education but focused more on educating nursing students. They can also be involved in educating staff nurses, like those who will be studying for a CPD course or those undergoing continuing education for just additional credits or qualification. That's what um, the nurse lecturer supports these individuals. Again, it always depends on the contract, So, but these are a few of the examples under nursing education. I've also included here in the list, we have the nurse specialist and the nurse practitioner. Now, nurse specialists and nurse practitioners, these are under clinical nursing, but I just separated them here in the category because they are mo mostly um, focused on a special area of nursing. Different from ward settings though, different from, from ICU settings, because some of these nurses depends on their the geographic location of where they work some of these nurses have the autonomy meaning that they can treat diagnose patients uh, within their scope of practice 
like in the United States, for example, some nurse practitioners, they do have autonomous practice and they can run clinics by themselves where they can treat patients, they can diagnose patients, and in fact, some of them can prescribe medications according to their scope. So again, it depends on the job description, depends on the geographic location that uh, what these nurses will be practicing and whether this is also a recognized field because some with regards to prescribing for example um, prescribing for nurses doesn't really occur in other countries I mean there are still no recognition into that in other countries but for other countries as well um, some are capable of prescribing and really allowed to prescribe because there are already some qualifications that have been organized and set already. And I've added here in the list nurse consultants. So nurse consultants are still really nurse specialists, nurse practitioners, but they're more higher than that because they will be involved in the management side of things. So as much as some of their functions are nursing specialist roles, where they do see patients in clinics, but they can also, or they will be involved in running or initiating a service, making sure that everything is running well. Uh, they will be involved in the quality of the service, or they could set up clinics like telephone clinics. It really depends on the project being initiated, but that's the function of the nurse consultant. It's basically uh, a mixture of management, but at the same time, it will also be dealing with the clinical side, uh, functioning as a nurse specialist or a nurse consultant can also be uh, like the manager of, uh, of different members of nurse specialists. Now I've separated here uh, nurse anesthesia from theater nursing because I think it's really unique. So nurse anesthesia or anesthetic nursing or and is nurse anesthesiology. Uh, sometimes they just really just juggle around these terms. Um, these are nurses that work in the operating room, but their function is mostly focused on care of patients um, undergoing anesthesia or care of patients receiving anesthesia. So depends on the scope of practice on a particular geographic location. It's either they may be allowed to really administer the anesthesia themselves, uh, but this again depends on, on the scope of practice recognized in a certain geographic location. Uh, in some instances, they may just really assist the anesthesiologist or the anesthetist as they administer the anesthesia and yeah, just really assist them in terms of monitoring or preparing the medications. So again, depends on the job description but that's basically another field where nurses can be involved with. If they're very, very interested with nurse anesthesia or nurse anesthesiology, then definitely this is a field to, to be involved with. Um, one thing about this though, in some countries like the United States, there is a certification requirement to become a nurse anesthetist. Um, and that would involve, I think, years of education and some examination in order to be a certified nurse anesthesiologist. Now I've added here in the list, um, well I've added here in the list, uh, nurse entrepreneurship. Nurse entrepreneurship for, I know this exists, but I don't know anybody yet who is a recognized nurse entrepreneur. I mean, of course a person can claim or a nurse can claim himself or herself as a nurse entrepreneur if they engage in the business side of things like um, selling or marketing health products but being recognized by a certain organizational body or uh, in a specific organizational or, or professional group I haven't really heard yet of a nurse entrepreneur but definitely this is a field of, of nursing because nursing with nursing, it's very unique. Uh, nursing has a wide skill set, and nurses are knowledgeable in in many many areas, and that could include nutrition, health and well-being, taking care of the skin. So they could develop products that would help in the promotion of health and in the should I say improvement in one's quality of life. And they can sell those products, market those products, and they can be thus they can be definitely within the 
fields of nurse entrepreneurship. But in terms of recognition, uh, I'm sure maybe there, I mean, uh, in, maybe in other countries there, there could be some recognition, but I haven't found so far uh, any uh, organization where, you know, they usually have trainings for nurse entrepreneurship or recognize nurse entrepreneurship, but I know this exists. So that's it for the different career options in nursing. And I know there are still a lot of career options in nursing, but this is just to lay out a few of them. And it's kind of tricky sometimes because in some instances, a nurse may branch out to a different field coming from a specific career option. So let's go for research nursing, for example. So after years and years of experience as a research nurse, uh, a nurse may want to proceed to working in the pharmaceuticals and they get involved in jobs like being a clinical research associate. So that's definitely one thing. It's not any more nursing, but they could branch out in those areas. So the list is really endless for career options. And the ones that I presented in this video are just a few of the examples and it's just really for nurses out there to widen their horizons that there are definitely a lot of possibilities that nurses can be involved with and it's just really a matter of looking at different jobs that are available in the country where you live in and also reading the job description i think that's also very, very important because by knowing the job description at least you know what role you have to play in that chosen field but at the same time you will be very very aware as to the limitations of what what you will be doing so again thank you very much for watching and talks for more videos please subscribe to this channel and thank you very much